Hello there. William Hargreaves is a great name from the early 20th century British Music Hall and I'm going to sing one of his numbers today, a, a song he wrote just after the First World War, 1919, and there are in fact some references to the First World War in the song, which I'm sure you'll spot. Um, it's the night I appeared as Macbeth and I first came across this song quite a few years ago now when I was uh, taking a, um, a parlour music class at a, at a summer school, music summer school, and we had quite a lot of, uh, of of, of men of a certain age uh, to um, allocate parts to. So what I did was give one verse to each of three singers. So we had a, a little group of three actors all comparing notes on the night they appeared as Macbeth. You've only got me on this uh, video, but uh, I'm going to try and uh, create the same illusion of three different actors talking about their experiences. Was through a YMCA concert, I craved a desire for the stage. In Flanders one night I was asked to recite, Gadzooks I was quickly the rage. They said I was better than Irving, and gave me some biscuits and tea. I know it's not union wages, but that was the usual fee. Home I came, bought a dress, appeared in your theatre and what a success. I acted so tragic, the house rose like magic, the audience yelled, you're sublime. They made me a present of Mornington Crescent, they threw it a brick at a time. Someone threw a fender and caught me a bender, I hoisted a white flag and tried to surrender. They jeered me, they queered me, and half of them stoned me to death. They threw nuts and bananas, fried eggs and sultanas, the night I appeared as Macbeth. Oh, it wasn't very nice, really. How did you get on? The play that was scribed to Bill Shakespeare, to me lacked both polish and tone. So I put bits in from Eleanor Glynn, Matt Gould and some bits of my own. The band played the march from Aida, and being so long they made cuts. Then I entered somewhere in Scotland and finished in Newington Butts. Oh, the flowers, what a feast. They threw it in bagful, self-raising and yeast. I acted so tragic, the house rose like magic. I improved the part with a dance. The pit had a relapse, so RAMC chaps were wired in to come back from France. I withdrew my sabre and started to labour, cried Leon Macduff to my swashbuckling neighbour. I hollered, I collared, I must reach the bridge or it's death. But they altered my journey, I reached the infirmary the night I appeared as Macbeth. I've had better nights, I have to say. What about you, sir? The advertised time for the curtain was 6.45 on the sheet. But the doorkeeper, he, having mislaid the key, we played the first act in the street. Then somebody called for the author. He's dead, said the flute player's wife. The news caused an awful commotion, gave me the shock of my life. Shakespeare dead? Poor old Bill. Why, I never knew the poor fellow was ill. I acted so tragic, the house rose like magic. I wished David Garrick could see. But he's in the Abbey, and someone quite shabby suggested that's where I should be. Lloyd George and Clemenceau, they both carried on, so the King of the Belgians rushed in with Alfonso. They pleaded, unheeded, and all of them cried in one breath. There's another war coming if you don't stop humming the night I appeared as... I'm not saying it, it's unlucky. 